soccer, golf, Picross, and good old-fashioned Mario Bros. It's been a busy, busy week for the Switch and a busy week for us here at Switch Force, and so it feels so good to cruise into the weekend and cruise into Comment Force number 33. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach. I've got Jake and Gabe here. Thanks, as always, for all of your feedback, your thoughts, your ideas, your replies, and your comments. We appreciate all all of you being a part of it, and that's why this show exists, because you being a part of it is super important to us. And guess what, Jake and Gabe? You guys being here is important to me, too. I just that's don't know. Good. I want to know what a weekend is. A weekend? <laughs> you said it's, a week. It's, hey, it's what browser goes on when he's tired of the week. <laughs> Listen, sometimes browser is so sick of chasing Peach and dealing with Mario that he needs to go on a weekend vacation. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Um, There's this thing inside of my brain that when I know what I'm gonna say, my my mouth betrays me, and like, yeah, and some some people think that's a stutter. I don't know if people know what stuttering no, means. It's <laughs> not a stutter. No, I think it's it's a special gift. No, I, I'm referring to me. People continuously say I stutter. I don't stutter. I just think way too quickly, and my mouth is not fast enough. Like, I'm just we, glad. Yeah, which might be some mouth training. Which now that I think about it, might be the definition of a stutter. No. <laughs> can we, can we do some mouth exercises right now boys and girls out there everyone okay everyone open your mouth got, no, uh, I, real I, wide uh, i had enough okay, now, mouth exercises this week i got the flu and was puking so that was my mouth exercises oh, God. okay stretch it really wide like no a, god like i don't want to do that again uh, i already did that okay now really tall like uh like a diglet oh, yeah but okay no shout out to all you guys that speak perfectly um with that said i think we can get into the comments all right jacob gaming says I remember people said before launch that Switch wasn't going to have any games. Well, look at it now. It's amazing to see how far the Switch has come in seven months, almost eight. And, uh, yeah, it is really cruising. And we still see the people that are like, it's only indie games. But, okay, A, it's not only indie games. And, B, some of those indie games are fantastic right now. Remember the PS4 when that first came out? Like, that was a similar situation. There was a ton of, like, indie games that were, like, doing really well. And uh, there were similar complaints. And of, of course, PS4, you know, has all these franchises. They have Uncharted. They have God of War. I, I don't need to go down the list. They have a lot of stuff coming. But mm -hmm. in the first year of PlayStation 4, it was a similar thing to what uh, Switch is uh, having this go around. But I like the indie games. I've played a lot of games this week. Uh, I'm still getting to Thimbleweed Park. I made good progress in uh, SteamWorld Dig 2. Uh, I'm starting Golf Story tomorrow. Like, there's so much to play, and there's not enough time in the day to do it. I love that Gabe has a, a, an indie schedule. Today, yeah. I play Thimbleweed Park. Tomorrow, I start Golf Story. Well, my thing Great is, game. Let, let, let me explain it to you. And we, we don't need to take too long on this. But I don't want to like be playing like three or four different games at, at a time, especially games that I can just like finish. SteamWorld Dig 2 isn't super long. I'm like three hours in. At this point, I, I would say I have a couple more hours, and then I'm just done. Like so, then you know I really want to play Golf Story, but if I start if I start Golf Story, I'm afraid I'll like it too much, and then I won't go back to SteamWorld Dig, and then I just won't ever finish that. So you know I want to no, finish. I, I feel you. Yeah, I I understand that goes. I'm this currently translates to Gabe's love life. Got to finish this one, and then go to the next one. <laughs> okay, moving moving on. Goodness gracious, take us to the next one, please. <laughs> Link HHS is back again with another big old chunk of text. Hi again. Uh, hello again. I just wanted to tell you how excited I am for the SNES Classic. I'm absolutely in love with the selection of games. Some of my favorite being Link to the Past, Link to... Wait. Link to the Past and Link to the Past and... Li oh, Link to the Past. Okay, I get it. And I really hope I can find one Friday and just play it all week weekend with my friend. <laughs> the one player selection is just beautiful. You got Zelda, Mario World, Metroid, DK Country, Star Fox, and all the RPGs, turn-based RPGs, aren't enough for me. I just know that many people are hope for it. Hype. And then you have your amazing multiplayer, Kirby, both of them, Mario Kart, Secret of Mana, and Street Fighter. Last year when I was waiting on the NES Classic, which of course I didn't get, I wasn't nearly this excited. There were a lot of games on the NES Classic I would, would have barely even touched, like Pac-Man, Dr. Mario, originally Mar Mario Bros., Bubble Bobble, Ice Climbers, Balloon Fight, etc. But now every single game on the SNES Classic makes me so excited. All the great single player games on the NES have super remakes on the SNES, so I'm not complaining. Just wanted to type that off my chest and hear your thoughts about any SNES Classic and the SNES compared to the NES. P.S. Gotta take care of those Nazis, Gabe quoted 2017. P.P.S. Spirit Tracks is the best Zelda game ever. 
got a little bit of agreement Yikes. from Link. Yeah, to, we, no, we had we game. had a lot of Spirit Tracks love. I don't know why you don't like the game. I don't don't understand that. Oh. It is one of the worst Zeldas. Oh, I do understand SNES uh, love though. That system is fantastic. Yeah, um, and I think you're doing yourself a disservice. But uh, I mean, if you don't like them, you don't like them. Cool. But the turn-based RPGs, I, I for me at least, they sp- the hold a very special place in my heart. I love them. Uh, so I, I can't wait to get mine. Uh, I have one pre-ordered, and I'm gonna wait for it to get here. I'm not gonna go do the hey, let's go try to go to the store and find one today because there's tons of lines. People are tweeting uh, from the lines and stuff. That's not something I want to be a part of. But I'll wait. Um, so uh, Zach. You you've yes. had you've had one for a little while. What do you? Th- I'm all about the platformers and the the action. I was going to ask so you. Zelda, what do you yeah, think the Mar- first what? game people should play be? But I know that was that sentence was all jumbled. But <laughs> what's the first game that people should play? Yoshi's Island. Is that your vote? It's my vote. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. My personal vote or like my more balanced non biased vote? No, just what game do you think? Should be the first one people play. If you were giving it to a friend, and you said, "Here's my SNES classic. You should play this first. What would you say? Yeah, well, I'll it's, say my, it's my a tie easy. between Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country. Okay, there you go. That's fine. Uh, Link to the Past is the obvious one for me, and maybe try Final Fantasy. But see, I feel I feel like Link Between Worlds is so much like Link to the Past, and there's so many games that replicate Link to the Past that I feel like DK and Mario are the <laughs> well, so yeah, because they have to finish the game, or is this just to try it out? Well, if, if you start Link to the Past, you're going to finish it because it's so great. Okay, Gabe, ha- Gabe has put all of his chips on Link to the Past, all of them, all three of them, and Spirit Tracks, number one. <laughs> Link, Link to the Past, I, I just like two, Games of tracks, tracks in the title. Yeah. <laughs> what What other tracks games do you know? Um, track Mania. Uh, okay. Stop, Track stop, and field. Yeah, stop putting me on the spot. <laughs> we can move on. I do think, though, that this SNES Classic, while it has less games, I think that they are games that you can spend more time with. The NES, there are definitely great games on the NES. To me, they are more like quick, like check them out and then leave it. Like, oh, I remember playing that, done. Whereas a lot of these games, like Gabe mentioned the RPGs, and like I mentioned uh, some of the more expansive uh, action titles like Mario World and DK, like you can come back to and want to finish and complete, and they hold your attention, I feel, a little bit better. So, Jake, tell us about the relation to this and your love life. No, uh, let's move on to Ben E. <laughs> says, I just wanted to say I really enjoyed I don't have one yet. That's <laughs> <laughs> SNES, you know how Just like the SNES Classic. It's tough that- to find. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just wanted to say I really enjoy these common forces. Every weekend I mow the lawn and listen to you, and it seems to go by so much faster than before. Usually I'm just putting away the lawnmower as you're finishing your last comment. As the seasons change, <laughs> whether, whether I'm rank, whether I'm breaking leaves or shoveling snow, I can rely on you to help me get it done. Thanks, and keep up the great work. I, I wouldn't I say the- we're helping like my hands. Don't oh, we hurt. are. We are. Listen, we also speed them up. So this week you're gonna go real fast because this is a shorter show. So we and say. So you're gonna have to finish that. Finish that yard real quick. I love how you use weather as a pun. As the seasons change, weather. I'm waiting. <laughs> I don't think that was intentional, but it's funny. I love it. Yeah, and we see no. these every once in a while, and I always just like to include them because this is something I used to do with podcasts as well. But shout out to you, Benny. I like you. Absolutely it brings me way back to mowing the lawn. Uh, and I love the fact that I, I did this exact thing and now people are doing the exact same thing. Like the madness of life, the madness of life. That's my, that's my only thing. That's not madness. I think it's pretty orderly. Look out for the madness of life, a novel coming to uh, bookstores near you. (laughs) Also a mixtape by, uh, (laughs) ghost Reby. We don't know who that is. Come on. All right, moving us right along to Mr. Brockerock. He says, I think this is a clever comment. All of these editions of he means games just show that the current eShop already needs revamping. The UI isn't made very well for a store that has so many games in it. Needs a on-sale tab, some better search and filtering options, and I wholeheartedly agree. I feel like the eShop was great when there was like four games on Switch. Now, not so much. Remember- they need some eShop music back in there? Yeah, an eShop revamp would be cool. Um I don't think it happens. Like, uh, not a full revamp. Maybe when they launch, like, online or something, they'll do it? <sighs> Maybe. I mean, remember uh, I think remember it's, when it launched and they couldn't have more than, like, X amount of games on there at once? Yeah, I just think it's odd. And, again, even that right there kind of makes it seem like a bit of a a store made for a limited selection. And I kind of... 
you know, going with <clears throat> almost like the tile look, it's reminiscent of the Switch home screen. It's very touch friendly. Uh, I like the big icons. But yeah, in terms of like categorizing, searching, coming soon can be random. I would like a little bit more effort on that that end. Um, I don't know that it needs like a full on redesign, but some some way to sort through. You know, we got 18 games this week. <laughs> By the end of the year, there's gonna be so many you're just gonna scroll and scroll yeah. and scroll I mean, I, I, and scroll. I, I, I hate to sound like a hater, but you don't gotta find most of those games anyways. Like to be honest. Ooh, burn this. <laughs> right, but wouldn't it be nice to have a tab like that sh- highlights the best of Switch or something? Like, to find ARMS, like, I mean, you can search directly for it, but I think they definitely could use some tabs that they have bestsellers coming soon. But I don't know, either, like, some a tab that's like well, Nintendo they had, games. They, or had, tab they like, had stuff like that on the Wii U eShop. Right, so why not bring that to Switch? I see, feel like that seems so easy. Yeah, for sure. Maybe they will. And then we need that tab that has apps and that tab that has themes. Do you think we ever get themes at this point? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. You do? I think so. Maybe once I, I, mean, I mean, it's only been seven months. Like, it's still very early on, and there were, you know, predictions slash accusations that, you know, this first year was like a beta year for, for Switch just because, it, you know, it was never ready to be out this soon. But yeah. it, I, I hope that all that cool stuff is coming later, such as the apps and the themes and, you know, all types of other fun stuff. Yeah. All right. Masked Dwarf eighty eight says, "Hey, Chucklefish Games, where the bloody hell is Pocket Rumble?" And that is a very good question. I feel like they were like, "It's coming, it's coming, it's coming," and it just got quieter and quieter and quieter. And then I'm like, "Nah, who knows?" <laughs> They're yeah, working no. hard on um, uh, War Groove though, so maybe they just said. Oh, well, Pocket Rumble is not going to come to the Switch. Well, I, I doubt that they're, like, made by the exact same people. Like, oh, sure, they it's are, gonna, Gabe. It's Gabe, pop- there's only one <laughs> Chucklefish. He's very, well, very tired. And they're also still trying to bring Stardew Valley, which still is a <clears throat> coming soon thing. So, in general, Chucklefish they have a and release dates on. kind of don't go together. <laughs> Change from Chucklefish games to coming soon games. Yeah, but we don't know where Pocket Rumble is, so, you yeah, know, I don't I think Honestly, I think, I think so another... Cool. Sorry for the overlap. But I think another thing that's – this, you know, isn't an issue probably that they care about. But a game like Pocket Rumble was so anticipated when there was, like, Breath of the Wild and 1-2 Switch. Some of this stuff I feel like isn't as important anymore. Yeah. That, that is a, a salient point, Zach. So. Well, I mean, now we have, like, Brawl Out and stuff coming, so it's going to get overshadowed for sure. But yeah. I would still try it out. I think it looked really fun. But Oh, I think it's a worthwhile try. I just think – Okay, there's a, a cavalcade of, of Steamroll Dig Two and Golf Story and FIFA and NBA and Arms and you know Picross and Death Squared well, sure. and like of Overcooked. course everything's gonna get diluted the more games there are, but I still think the, right. So I just fun they'll stand out. Yeah, I just think Pocket Rumble was missed its boat. Hopefully, it surfaces soon. But Andrew Plasma Gaming says. Jeez, Gabe, I'm like half your age, and I take less than five minutes to put on my contacts by myself. Congrats. Uh, well, I, the, the reason I, I, I chose this comment, I wanted to – someone please tell me the, the, the correlation between age and contacts. Um, but no, but just it, – it's the way my eyes are. Like, I, I can't keep them open. <laughs> but um, – Honestly, Listen, Gabe sense honestly of, Ender Plasma, if you're taking five minutes, that's a long time. People take seconds, so you're kind of slow too. Gabe's senses are very different. Music looks cool to him. Smell is non-existent. <laughs> Contacts are hard. People's comprehension is non-existent. <laughs> Obviously, when music. I say music looks cool, I don't mean that. I cannot see music. I'm not an, a mutant. I'm really excited for the gifted, by the way. But, yeah, Enderplasma, congrats on being able to put your contacts on uh, in a much quicker manner than me. I, I'm very bad at it, and I understand that. Um, maybe give me some tips. Um, the other person that had given me tips, I tried it. Like everything you said is just keeping my eyes open is difficult, especially like when I get the contacts, like I I get like solution all over my fingers and then like I end up inevitably just getting my eyelids wet. It's not a good thing. Gabe, why don't you just wear like rec specs or like goggles and you all the time. Yeah, I know. It's just I don't want to be the dude at the at the basketball courts wearing them. Like, oh, Gabe, I've got you the solution. Want, you for will you. be the coolest dude there. Uh-huh. I've got the solution, Gabe. I'm gonna re- send you a voicemail, and it's gonna be recording me saying, "Look at me, Gabe. I'm just a dirty, rotten toad. And if you don't keep your eyes open right now, I'm gonna smush my spores <laughs> all deep down inside your little larynx." Yeah, I definitely think that's the solution. <laughs> Next, that's terrifying. 
The Ben X Files has something that is horrifyingly amazing. Do you guys want a Dark Souls collection on Switch? I know that Bloodborne couldn't be on because it's PS4 exclusive, but a Dark Souls collection would be really difficult and you could hone your skills anywhere. It'd be perfect. I would also like to apply for the really young kid who watches too much anime. <laughs> <laughs> um, th- this is an interesting comment. Uh, I don't know if either, well, I know Jake didn't, but Zach, did you see the NeoGath like, kerfuffle uh, about that one IGN freelancer that said that the Switch isn't as powerful as like the Wii U? Yeah. All right, so that was going on but this originally made me think like hey demon souls and dark souls one and two on switch would be like awesome because those games run on 360 they run on ps3 and they could probably run on switch uh, i i don't know how much credence there is to this uh, ign guy obviously it seems like he's wrong everybody like was up in arms about it on neogaf but i i think it's safe to say if it was able to run on last gen hardware it can run on switch pretty well well, and we know that From Software wasn't one of the initially announced partners for Switch. We've heard nothing since then, but I really do hope there was a rumor that... about it. You remember the, the Laura Kate Dale thing? Yeah, yeah. The, the Dark I never played them, so I would be totally down to try them on the Switch and get frustrated in every public place imaginable and just want to throw my Switch, but not because I love it too much. Yeah, but I mean that would be great. I just think that we got to get away from the thinking of collections. Like Nintendo doesn't like doing that. Like even games that belong together, like kind of like Resident Evil Revelations One and Two, they could easily sold that like as a bundle. And I, I mean, you can like get them as a bundle, but they're all, they're also like just pushing to get them like out individually for like twenty dollars each and stuff. Like so, you know, Bayonetta collection and, and Dark Souls collection, like all these things that are in our heads, like as great ideas that I don't think are happening. Maybe. Yeah, but I do think From Software is going to make something. So, unless it's a new game entirely, this well, seems like wait. the most viable. Switch option. Souls. No, I don't. I don't think From Software is making the Switch port for Dark Souls. Like, I don't think that's high on their priority. Like, they're not doing the Souls games anymore because they want to do different. So, I don't think their next step is go port a, a Souls game to Switch. Like From Software. So, you think that they're making something original for Switch? Yeah, probably. Switch I, 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 oh, I don't know about original, but whatever their new thing is will come to Switch probably. I just don't we'll think see. I just don't think that they want to be in the Souls business anymore. Like they've made that kind of clear. And, no more Souls. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Angel season four. No, what? Well, Buffy uh, season two when Angel lost his soul. Um, sh- man, if you rec- if you know that reference, let me know in the comments. I'll love you forever. Yeah, Gabe, but where are you going with this? <laughs> absolutely nowhere. Uh, I just All don't right. think From Software wants to do Dark Souls games anymore, and then porting it to Switch. Maybe they can just contract it out or something. Who knows? They're gonna contract yeah, out to you, Gabe. Sure. Uh, Brad and Brandon? Alan. Oh, yep. oh, sorry, oh. sorry. Took your took your thunder. Back of the line, Gabriel. <laughs> My bad. Go ahead. Brandon Allen, the very sophisticated Charizard, says, "I think Mario Odyssey will have a playable Luigi as DLC, just one Luigi, with its own original story. Same for Peach. Also, maybe DLC for more outfits for Mario. An example is DLC outfit pack includes Samus, Pit, etc. One more thing is that I think if Yoshi is not an Odyssey, Yoshi will be DLC to ride around. I really don't think that they have any of those characters playable <laughs> in Super Mario Odyssey. I think this is Mario." Mario's Odyssey, and if they have any DLC, I really hope it's just more areas in the kingdom, or more platforming levels, or a new kingdom, or something like that. I can see outfits as DLC, that's probably the most uh, likely out of all these uh, statements, but I really don't think, I've heard a lot of people like, like, oh look at Luigi in this background of this Metro uh, Kingdom billboard, and he's going to be playable. I really don't think that they have him playable at all. I hope Luigi's just saving himself up for exploring the creepiest, biggest mansion yet. Uh, Man, I hope people don't expect this as DLC. You will be let down. There's no way you're getting Luigi DLC, Peach DLC, like... I don't. I don't think. Honestly, that's though, I think the DLC is going to be better than this. I think it'll. I think it'll exceed expectations. I think the DLC is going to be a new kingdom, and I think that honestly is a better, better sort of DLC. I mean, look. Yes, it's fun to have alternate options, but look how much more excited we are about Zelda P- Pack Two than Zelda Pack One. Right, the new story content, a new kingdom. That's what we want. And I think, given the season pass for Zelda for Fire Emblem Warriors, it's inevitable that we get some DLC for Mario. And I think it's got to just be new kingdoms, right? Probably. Yeah, I don't know K- if they go kingdoms all out and outfits. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, whole new kingdom would be amazing. It's kind of a lot, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, but so is a story DLC for Zelda. Sure. Yeah. And you don't, you know, the size of a kingdom is variable. So 
Yeah, it could be like a new Island Kingdom, definitely. Yeah. I just really don't think we ever get Yoshi DLC in, 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 in Odyssey. I will be interested to see how many Mario characters make an appearance in Odyssey, because so far they have really showed, or, or really made an effort to not show a lot well, we of We know that. the Mushroom Kingdom is there, we just don't know what that entails, if it's even right. playable, or if it's a, just a set piece for cutscenes, or if, you know, what exactly it, it entails and what characters it has running around in it. We will see very soon. The game is less than a month away at this point. Uh, Soda Phantom Gaming says, I wish that Super Mario Odyssey, staying on topic, could have online multiplayer where people race to a uh, randomly selected place in the map of a kingdom where you can take any path you want through the kingdom. Okay, that, that, I think that, that's... that threw, threw me off, but that could be fun, right? I mean, that would be like so limited and will probably get like repetitive slash maybe yeah. boring at some point but multiplayer modes in odyssey would be interesting it's just that i feel like it's such a great single player experience i don't know why if you need to like dilute it by mixing in well, multiplayer that doesn't belong two things one there are they have shown those mini games like the rc car racing and there is like a koopa racing one which is kind of in the same vein where you're racing koopas to a destination but yeah. i think it's just a cool idea and this will never happen uh what soda phantom gaming is talking about but i think it's interest or a good idea hypothetically because they've added so many new traversal maneuvers for mario he's got a bunch of new different jumps including his you know long jumps and backflip jumps but he has more he has the ability to jump off of cappy he has um the roll ability where he turns to a ball and can traverse long distances quicker by rolling um so there's a lot you, you could have like obstacles where you could like either choose to you know take the shorter path or you could choose to capture the ball bill and move faster but you have to get through some obstacles like i think it'd be a really interesting idea um but it would never happen but it, i think it's cool that people are thinking uh, about Mar- Super Mario Odyssey as a very expansive game that has a lot of different traversal options, and so it'd be fun to see like who could figure out the best kind of parkour way to get to a uh, finish line. Well, or, I mean, that sounds amazing, but or we have an arena that is a Mario Chase arena, and the Brutals are just chasing Mario, and we get to have Mario Chase 2, which is Dude, one of the Mario most Chase. underrated Nintendo gems ever. Mario, Ch- I always talk about Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, but Mario Chase might be like more under the radar and needs to come back in some way. That game was a multiplayer experience to never forget. It is brilliant and simple and magical in all the right Nintendo ways. Uh, speaking of Nintendo ways, or I guess gamer ways, Tsunami Whale says, that's a great name. Uh, as a Walmart cashier, I can safely say that FIFA and 2K games are mainly bought by 20 to 30 year olds and they get them for themselves, not their kids, Gabby. <sighs> all right. Here, let me touch on this uh, in a couple of ways. First of all, I never said FIFA wasn't popular. I am very aware of how popular it is. I don't think I ever said that. Um, and if I said it, I said incorrectly what I was trying to say. Um, I, 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 I was misunderstood. FIFA is very popular. Once it's out every year, it's on the MPD charts for a very long time. I understand. Um, I still maintain that I I used to work retail too. And I used to see a bunch of parents buy FIFA for the game. And let me say this, Tsunami. No shot. But if someone's 30, you don't know that they're buying it for themselves. How do you know? You ask them? They have a six-year-old kid that they're buying it for? Dude. Oh, my. Don't even get me started. A a 13-year-old kid? (laughs) Don't even get me started. A 20-year-old kid? I know 27-year-olds have, like, 10-year-old kids. <laughs> that, nice. Okay, well, that, thanks, that, thanks that's for the a diff- anecdote. Yeah, that's a, that's a different conversation altogether. But, yeah, and cool. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but, yeah, I, I think that parents buy FIFA for their kids. Yeah. All right, moving on to Roy. Just good old Roy. He says, I still need to get rabbits, Pokin, and Sonic Mania. Now I have to add FIFA 18, Doom, Mario Odyssey, and Xenoblade 2 to that list. This console is going to be expensive for me. Plus, I haven't found time to play it. Yeah, time is probably more valuable than the money aspect, but then the money aspect will start stacking up, and you kind of got to take your pick of what you want to play. And then now, I mean, if you're set like this, then if you have the 2018 that Gabe predicts of four games, then you're you're okay for a while. Yeah, it's gonna slow way down for you. <laughs> well, it isn't a slowdown, <laughs> down. but yeah, it, it isn't a slowdown. But you know, I don't know four games that was being dumb. But 
Man, I feel like this is a portable Sonic console. Ma- you haven't played Sonic Mania, though? That came out wonderful. I haven't either. I think this is a portable console problem, honestly. Like, as dumb as that sounds, I think the fact that you can amass games and then, like, oh, I'll just play it later on the go. Oh, I'll just play it later on the go. Oh, I'll just play it later on the go. Like, when you have a physical console in front of you, and I know the Switch is a physical console, but when you have, like, a PS4, like, oh, I have this PS4 game, I take out the disc, I put it in. But when you just throw everything on the Switch, I have the same problem with Vita. It's like you amass a bunch of options, and then... They kind of get lost in the. I don't. Form. I don't think you're ever gonna play Sonic Mania. Really, I know you like tried it, but you're never gonna play it. Just like I don't think Roy will. Like, or, or maybe he will, just because it's. <laughs> you super. don't know Roy. <laughs> no, I don't. I definitely don't. But some of these games are gonna fall by the wayside. Like the, again, just to touch back on the on um, how I'm handling the the indies on, on the Switch. That's why, like, I'm trying to make it a point to like finish these things before I start the next one. Because, and, and you know, we're lucky. Like, we get like review code and stuff. So like, you know, we're in a very privileged position that that we're appreciative of. But even, like, when you don't have to worry about buying the game, they still stack up. Just, like, having them. And, and you got to find time. Or, or or don't. Maybe you don't have to play all of these. Uh, Pokin is, for, for me at least, I'm just speaking personally. I'm not saying Pokin's not a good game because it is. Maybe Pokin could be one that you just kind of let slide. Especially if you played it on the Wii U. I have no context. I don't know if you did or didn't. Um, but, yeah, it's a long list of good stuff to look at for, uh, forward to. Yeah, and I think Mario and Xenoblade are probably going to be the ones to and they're going to focus be although you know and, ra- and rabbits. rabbits and rabbits yeah and, and and i can see rabbits getting a price drop around the holidays to kind of have a, a sales resurgence so maybe that's something to look out for too yep ub gets pretty aggressive with their price drops pyro 89 iffy says you should record audiobooks the way you read the dialogue was fun lol zach you're, you're great at reading dialogue i have a new career it's yeah. I need to. What's that company called uh, that always Audible. sponsors YouTube? Audible. Audible. Yeah. Audible. Get at me. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to your books. I want to make your books. Well, I'm a bookmaker. <laughs> they have people like John Hamm voicing uh, Boba Fett and stuff. So uh, yeah, I mean, you, okay. You got well, I can voice. I can voice. I don't know. You got any Ewoks. stories about like a? Yeah. Who? He walks. I, don't, I was saying the Star oh. Wars theme. Oh, okay, okay. No, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to voice Star Wars. I want to voice like a sad story about a little trumpet man and he, his attempt to try and get in the big circus. So just Doctor Seuss books. No, no, no. More like a story about a family who is just completely cursed with rain. You want to narrate a mother a novelization? All right, let's keep going no, here. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, Ryan Kim on the 2K vs. FIFA Who Did It Better conversation says, In my opinion, 60 FPS is much more important than resolution, especially in competitive games like NBA 2K and FIFA 18. This was a debate that I kind of brought up in my FIFA gameplay. Who did it better? 2K bringing all the features but worse performance, or FIFA bringing more of a custom uh, suite of, of content but a more stable game? I've yet to play FIFA, but I saw your video, and it looks good. Like it, I think it does. It looks fun. Um, I want to play it. It's just, you know, basketball is more my thing, so I'm probably going to gravitate just towards 2K. Just, you know, I'm, I'm not familiar with soccer or football, whatever you want to call it. Um, but just in general, Ryan Kim, I agree that 60 FPS is more important than the resolution. It's just how low of a, of a resolution can you go? Like 720p, I think it's just like the baseline where you want to be at, and you never want to be anywhere below that. Um, I, I don't know if does FIFA right at 60. Like, do we know? Like, I don't know. Yes, and oh. it looks great. And honestly, I feel like that is the way to go. NBA does look better up close. It looks to me worse at the, from the pullback perspective than FIFA. But I honestly, I think you are going to appease more people with a comparable performance than comparable fidelity. So I would always take that FPS. Now, granted, it, it's a different in different games, right? So we want certain games to look great versus frame rate, but as sports games in particular, man, it's critical, and I think that NBA 2K18 would feel better on the Switch with a little bit worse graphical uh, oomph, and that 60 frames per second. So kudos to FIFA. I Honestly, for me, I like the idea of a custom engine that better fits the Switch rather than trying to shoehorn in what's already there. Now, the ideal world is that you get the complete feature set like NBA with the performance and the custom engine like FIFA, then it's a, a perfect game, and maybe that's what we'll get in 2018. Hopefully. 
Jake. All right. All right, Jake. This is important. We have another friend application. All right. He's a comedian, at least in, in his title. Or a maybe comedian. he's a comedian from Watchmen. That, that Look slow. how funny he is, Gabe. He goes, one, two, four, three. Oh, <laughs> if boy. that doesn't leave you on the floor laughing, I don't know what will. Uh, Hello, help Switch help. Frost. <laughs> he's so funny already. Hello, Switch Force. <laughs> Upon hearing your need for a maid, I think I can fill that position for you. Whoa, maid comedian. For the past 15 years, I've worked for the Smith family of... El- okay, that's very specific. Uh, the Smith, not Smith, dear. And for them, I Smythe. did... Smythe. Smythe? Smythe, I think? Okay. I that sounds like a dragon, all right? We work for the Smythe family of Elborn, Maybe England. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Smythe. Smythe Manor. And all he, right. cl- and he, for he them, clarifies, I... it is Smythe, not Smith. Okay, there's no... Okay. Welcome to Smythe Manor, Gabe. Right, and for them, I did house that. cleaning. Let's go. I did house cleaning, cooking, and took care of their floor, four glorious children. I grew quite attached to them after years, but they grew up as children tend to. <laughs> now I am trying to look for a new job as a maid. Like I said, I can do cleaning and cooking. I will make sure your place you guys reside in will be squeaky clean. As for cooking, I do. I have one rule: you only eat good, nutritious food with me. And if there's any dispute, it's either good, wholesome food or empty tummies. All right. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Bye, bye, dearies. Thank you for your time. <laughs> You'd be fired so quickly. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, no, not specifically by us. I'm just saying. Look, if you're if you're like a housemaid, right, for like a rich person. And uh, you said, here, this is what you're going to eat. And a rich person says, no, I pay you. That's not what I want to eat. Make me this. And you're like, nope, you're only going to eat good stuff. You'd be like, okay, sorry, you're fired. But she found but the remember, right family in the Smythe family, and or he, and <laughs> made the best meals ever, and they appreciated it. But remember, remember who you are. Uh, this is not applying for a paid position. This is applying for a friend, which is basically an unpaid employee. Yeah, so I, I can't yo, fire you. <laughs> make me that good, nutritious food. Clean up my freaking office, and play with my glorious ch- pets? Sure. Pet singer. Or, or play with my glorious uh, employees and keep Jake and Gabe occupied while I eat your nutritious food. Yeah, I I, I will have none of your nutritious food. Uh, but shout out to you for making <laughs> – this is a, a little, like, in-depth thing. Like, this is cool. Uh, I, need, is, I need me- some more friend applications. We now have the nurse, the maid – and yeah, the kid who watches anime. We're, Zach, you're stacking up quite the good friend group here. You got yeah, somebody to take I care have... of your preventative health with good cooking and cleaning. And then you got someone to take care of the accidents and the nurse. You're, man, you're just getting all I set. I feel like I'm building out my cabinet for my presidential run. I feel like you're building up your Team Fortress 2 team or something. The healer. I the feel maid. like we should, like I feel like we should move on force. to uh, the Frito Effect says... Just a good old boy having a good old time with his good old dad playing a good old game of golf. <laughs> Listen, Golf Story is a gem. I'm excited. I, I'm excited for tomorrow when I play I just it. don't like that Zach missed the main story point that Lucky grew up to run the, the whole show. <laughs> Zach was like, it was, maybe listen, Lucky's it was been a, there forever. It was, a, it, was a, it was a bait and switch. I didn't see it coming. It was a freaking cliffhanger. You didn't get the 20 years past bit. <laughs> no, that, that confused me. What was happening there? I was so immersed in just striking the ball at the center that I lost track of the periphery. Look, this is a lesson for life. Don't get so focused on what's in front of you that you miss out on the crazy, obnoxious child stealing food and turning into an evil ruler of the golf land. Sucked in. (laughs) That's my new insult. What? That's what he says when he steals the ball. Oh, yeah. Uh, Also, Jake, I feel like Golf Story is probably a chronicle of your life, so you should play it. Dude. (laughs) My golf experience ended a while ago. When I was little, I threw golf clubs, and sometimes they hit the golf cart. I don't think I should be on the course anymore. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, Chucky Baring says, Pirates are the arm of the body of the love of my soul. Fire, fire, fire. No clue what this means, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, where, where, do, do we know where this comment came from? This was from a, the Golf Story video, but I, I mean... I just, oh my god, I, I can just picture like a, a sea captain, a pirate saying this. Pirates are the arm of me body and the love of my soul. Fire! 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 <laughs> like this is his, his rally for war. This is like a deranged nightmare that is somehow cursing us. I just can't tell how yet. <laughs> By a fire, fire, fire. Whoa, this reminds me of that weird story we had on Comic Force a long time ago about the demon guy who came into the guitar shop and then like the static. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the devil was in the guitar store or whatever. <laughs> now the God, pirates now, there's, now the pirates, pirates in our soul. soul. Oh, Freak of goodness. nature. 
All right, let's get out of here. Connor Daly says, looks like a GameCube game. And Rodster628 says, L-M-F-A-O-O-O. And then Chiwi says, or Kawi, Siwi says, here gives you back your glasses. You dropped these. Ooh, Octoling, shots fired. Assuming it's FIFA? Yeah, FIFA looks good, guys. It does. FIFA, it, FIFA looks real good. I saw a number of people that said, oh, my God, this looks terrible. Oh, my God, it looks horrible. I feel like that's just the anti-Switch initiative trying to decry the Switch and its new third-party partnerships because it looks good. Yeah, it doesn't uh, look perfect, but, I mean, yeah, it well, does no. look good. No, but, I mean, you have to, you know, be reasonable about your expectations. like Which people don't seem to get still. I I don't understand. Like, if you you know you really want like the best version, go buy it on PS4 or Xbox One. Like, you pro. I mean, I'm not saying that everyone has those options, but yeah, I don't know what coming on. Dude, a, I wonder if I wonder if these people eat at fast food restaurants because the fast food restaurants food never looks like what it looks like on the commercial and their advertisements. So I yeah. feel like they'd be very disappointed by fast food constantly. I don't eat fast food, but I thought that was supposed to be funnier than it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Jake, for telling us that fast food restaurants. The non joke. The non joke. I'm sorry. I'm not as funny as the comedian one four one yeah. two four three. Alright. But there we have well, it. Well uh yeah. One more for us. Uh one more final comment. Oh, okay. And the final comment of the day is uh from from Switch Force. And I just want to say that I had a moment of nostalgia where I looked back and saw that we had made over six hundred videos. And we played all these games, and I thought back to when Mario Odyssey was light years away, and now it is literally less weeks. than a month away. It's weeks at this point. And I just want to say thanks for everyone being here, for commenting. We have now done 33 of these. They are filled to the brim with awesome comments every week. Is that a Mario and Odyssey pun? Filled to the brim? Hat brim. Uh, yes. I'm, make I'm, make I'm me more clever than I am. raising my eyebrows nobody can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in a thankful spirit right now. Okay. That's a very much better way to follow up my stupid fast food reference. <laughs> That's all good. Yes. I so go shameful. play Golf Story. Go play SteamWorld Dig. Go play. I think FIFA is like a worthwhile option for Switch. I really have enjoyed that thus far. I've played a couple games. It's really good. I really like Nintendo. Uh, that they they are able to make this work. They are making I, this console work, and it's really awesome to see. I hope people don't think I'm a like a Nintendo shell for saying this, but Arcade Archives Mario Brothers is actually fun. <laughs> I know it's expensive, but. Man, I'm having a good time with that game. Uh, I tried multiplayer with a friend of mine. That game is fun. So I just wanted to throw that out there if you're looking for like something smaller to play. $8. Or take that $8 and put it towards Golf Story? Yeah, maybe. Or take that $8 and go buy yourself something fast food. for the weekend. No, not fast food. Oh, okay. Uh. Actually, send that eight dollars to us so that we can pay uh, the comedian one two four three for all of that epic maid service. Friend applications are appreciated. Comments, ideas, and feedback is appreciated. We'll see you all next week for Comment Force number thirty four. Until that time, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. We love you. Finish that lawn. Finish that lawn, my friend. I hope you're done, Mister Ben E. And until next week, for myself, Jake and Gabe, Switch Force out.